Today's chi today, China's military pledged its loyalty to the Communist Party after a former top general became the latest to be kicked out of the party for corruption. China's president is behind this purge, and Seth Doan is in Beijing. The news four top officials removed for taking bribes was announced on state TV, while the anchor underlined the resolve in the Communist Party's fight against corruption. One of the accused, Xu Taiho, was one of China's top generals. Xu is the highest level military officer to be investigated since 1949. It's sending shockwaves through the People's Liberation Army. Also charged with accepting bribes, a vice minister for state security, the official in charge of state-owned telecom and mining companies, and a manager of the state-owned oil and gas company. When President Xi Jinping took over last year, he promised to stamp out corrupt officials, from top bureaucrats to low-level clerks. In China, they're nicknamed Tigers and Flies. A cartoon in today's South China Morning Post shows a tiger and a fly chatting in jail. Both are in because of Xi Jinping. Lest any of this be missed by the masses, the People's Daily, a Communist Party mouthpiece, released a computer game where users can give electric shocks to corrupt officials. This crackdown is popular because it's seen as long overdue, but it may also serve another purpose. Many of those under investigation have been political enemies of China's top leaders. Seth Doan, CBS News, Beijing.